When we think of engineering, we associate it with planes, trains and automobiles. But some of the most interesting and exciting engineering practices go into making the items we enjoy every day and with family and friends. Briggs of Burton have a long history and an exciting future in designing and building some of the world's biggest breweries and distilleries. We went behind the scenes to look at some of the traditional handcrafted manufacturing that goes into making some of the world's favourite drinks. The growing trend for whiskies, spirits and beers that are also sustainably produced is driving a wave of innovation in the drinks industry that's enabled by clever engineering with heritage and experience at its core. And that history is alive and well at Briggs of Burton's coppersmith Macmillan near the Scottish coast where handcrafted copper stills are beaten into life by a team of skilled craftsmen. The still's unique shape and characteristics infusing some of the world's most famous and extraordinary whiskies, driving a global market worth billions. We've been doing this for hundreds and hundreds of years and uh, we've still got old tools and parts of tools that we're still using, that we've been using since 1875. So it's just the heritage of it, that's what makes it unique. Engineering director George Crombie at Briggs of Burton, of which Macmillan is a part, believes that it's a powerful focus on its future-facing engineering capability that's driving them to become the number one distilled spirits engineering company in the world. So a few years ago it really was all about whiskey and the growth in the whiskey industry. What we're seeing as a company now is real growth in Mexico and tequila as one of the biggest um, market growths. And then we're seeing a lot of craft growth within the industry, the smaller players wanting to build their more bespoke distillery kitchens. The biggest trend is around sustainability. So we're still producing these handcrafted stills which are at the centre of our projects, but it's then bringing those into a fully sustainable project. The connection between the grain and the glass is on show here at Everard's Meadow, a Briggs design project home to the Leicestershire brand's new state-of-the-art brewery in 70 acres of community green space. Well, we're standing here in the uh, Everard's Beer Hall, which offers a full 360 degree customer experience, where you can see the engineering and then you can see the final product when you're tasting the beer. With projects in the four corners of the globe, from major turnkey distilleries to others in food, pharma and biotech, Briggs is supporting the sustainability revolution by harnessing its unique experience across industries. The food and beverage engineering sector is dynamic. It is forever moving along. I think each industry goes through cycles and we've just imparted what we know already back into, into different industries. Uh, and we've done that across the globe really, at different various stages of uh, development of say Scotch whisky, which was the forerunner in the spirits industry. Now we're realising the same effort really in bourbon in the US and tequila in Mexico, where we're actually not replicating because everything's different, but the principles are the same. For technical director John Hancock, it's about supporting new market trends with a new generation of engineers, bringing traditional values and an entrepreneurial mindset. There's always been a desire to innovate and to do things better. So we've been, for instance, environmentally, sustainability, we've been building that in almost subconsciously for a long time before it was fashionable. And so the whole background and ethos really is to do things in a better way. By 2023, the global food and beverage industry will be worth almost $8 billion, making its sustainable future vital for economies, ecology and social issues, and putting engineers in the powerful position to make change a reality. That challenge also presents opportunity and interest for the engineers that work on those types of projects. So considering scale, automation, and wrapping that around with things such as a requirement for reduction in energy, carbon neutrality, actually gets people excited, gets them out of bed in the morning. That appetite for solving those issues, not just for our customers, but sometimes for themselves, because they want to be part of that journey. They want to be the contributor to that beer or that spirit in the hands that they may be having some bragging rights with their mates, that they contributed to reducing the carbon dioxide in the production of that product. And that's definitely what we see as part of our engineers' interest in why they do what they do.